of Nevada wanted to stop payments to Northwest Academy, a move that would have potentially shut down that controversial boarding school last summer. But a judge in Nye County put a stop to it. The move came from Medicaid eight months before the school's owners were ever charged with child abuse. Only on three, our Vegas lost has that story with John Trainer. If the state had their way, Northwest Academy may have been closed down months before their owners were arrested. That's the latest tip our investigation into Northwest Academy has uncovered. First, a little background here. Northwest Academy was a boarding school for at-risk kids in the Armagosa Valley. In February, a teacher was arrested for child abuse. The sheriff started investigating, then arrested both owners, a husband and wife named Marcel and Patricia Chapuis. They face over 40 counts of child abuse there. Police say they were giving their students water tainted with arsenic. We heard stories of abuse from former students as well. Tonight, we can report the state tried to set, step in months before that happened. Northwest Academy would build the state's Medicaid offices for services. Medicaid started seeing things they did not like. They tell us they suspected Northwest was committing fraud. They took action. This is what they told us on a phone interview earlier this week. Medicaid did have concerns about the billing we were seeing from this facility. When, when uh, did you have the concerns? So those concerns, um, we attempted to act, uh, we acted on in June. And in early July, uh, we received an injunction from the 5th Judicial District um, that did not allow us to proceed with our action. What action did you want to take against them? Um, we were seeking to suspend their payments. Attorneys for Northwest filed a restraining order in the case, telling a judge that those cuts from Medicaid would force the school to close and violate their rights. A judge agreed there, saying the restraining order was enough. To st the restraining order that he granted was enough to stop the state from stepping in. We don't know exactly what the state believes Northwest was doing wrong. We do know this though: the day we first reported, Northwest was raided by authorities. Their website showed a Dr. Reutman on their staff list, but he had not worked there since 2017. The state tells me. Northwest Academy never updated their paperwork. The doctor that was listed right there, Norton Norman, was still listed as the school psychiatrist, possibly on those Medicaid payments. If they were able to stop the payments, Northwest may have been shut down. And again, in February, we had 40 counts of child abuse. Kids were being wheeled out of there by sheriffs. One teacher was arrested. Uh, the Chapuis, by the way, will be in court on Tuesday, mm -hmm. we will be there as well. I remember when the story dropped that night, thinking yeah. this is going to go on for months. Yeah, we're, we're finding some more stuff out. It'll be interesting to see what happens on yeah. Tuesday. John, thank you. So if you have an idea for our Vegas Lost series or have a tip on this school, you can email those tips to VegasLost at News3LV.com. We've also got a new Vegas Lost hotline, that number 702-909-2138. We realize this story has some really sensitive elements. You can leave an anonymous tip. In just a few minutes, John will be logging on to our News 3 Facebook page to take your comments and your questions live.